This is a story about a friend of mine who works as a teacher. He teaches at a small private school at the village. The distance between the school and the city center is about 10 km. The distance to the highway is approximately 3 km. The school used to belong to the village foundation, but was later seized by someone and registered as belonging to the family foundation of the person who seized it earlier. Whereas in the past, when they first built the building, all villagers were asked for donations and all residents who were able to donate sincerely. The school, which is now 26 years old, has six classrooms. It is the average number of small school. In the neighboring village, there is a similar school. It also has six study rooms. This teacher is a civil servant and since 16 years ago, he was assisted by his office to teach at this school. The teacher was accepted as a civil servant as an honest minor and did not spend a penny. Most of the students studying at this private school come from the poor and their parents are not fully aware of the importance of education. Almost half of the students at my friend's school were taken care of by their grandmothers or grandfathers because both of their parents went to migrate outside the province to earn money. Currently, the school sets a voluntary contribution of 60,000 rupiah per month. With that nominal value, there are still many students who have not been able to pay regularly. Many things the teacher of my friend told me, especially the ones he had in the past. At first, I didn't think that the word of teachers and schools was like that. I think all is well, honest, sincere, and noble. But the most interesting thing is the school's difficulty in getting students. This is the reason. There are two other schools which are only about two kilometers from the school. He only relied on getting students from his village. In fact, the number of elementary school graduates from the village is very limited, not to mention the reduced number of children who want to study in Islamic boarding schools or continue to other schools. It's hard to get 50 students just now. Before the neighboring village established its own school, there were some children in the village who wanted to go to this private school, this private school where my friend worked. Then there is competition between schools in order to get new students, usually to attract elementary school graduates to register. The schools provide free uniforms. There are those who only provide sports uniforms. There are two or even three types of uniforms. Even crazier, two years ago, there was a private junior high school from the city that also attacked the village. The junior high school provides 50,000 rupiah in cash for each child who is willing to register. The problem is how to get funds for the purchase of the uniform. I don't know. That's the principal's business. But what has often happened is that some teachers who have received the certification allowance will be subject to a predetermined amount of dues. Or the principal will be in debt to a third party 
experiment is subject of interest. Another problem with admission of new students is the spread of wild and inappropriate issues whose subjects and objects are schools that are in the area of contesting new students. The simple language of these schools can be bad for each other. Even though there is a family where the husband works at one school while the wife is a teacher at a competing school. That's all the story for today. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe this channel. Bye-bye.